To enable a decarbonised future, we need batteries. Cobalt effectively enables these batteries that will create this future for us. Cobalt Blue believes in that future and has a unique opportunity uh, in Broken Hill. Firstly, the ore type is unique. We have large-scale cobalt in pyrite, and that doesn't happen many other places in the world. Uh, we have a lot of it. The mine itself will mine sufficient cobalt to enable over 5 million electric vehicles going forward. Every part of this process exists somewhere in the world, but we're the first company to bookend all of those processes together to commercialise the cobalt. The process that we're proposing for the commercial scale operation, which we're replicating here in scale at the pilot plant, is that it's an open cut mining operation, uh, crush and screen it to a coarse sand, which is much more cost effective compared to grinding in, in conventional mining technology. Uh, that sand is then separated through a gravity and flotation circuit to create a concentrate of the mineral. The mineral then goes through a number of steps to break it down, leach it, uh, and extract the cobalt out of that mineral. The cobalt will be in the liquid phase which then goes through the subsequent stages of processing to purify it and uh, ultimately convert that into a battery ready product. Broken Hill offers the project uh, a wide variety of advantages that other mining companies simply don't enjoy. Firstly, people. It's an established mining town of some 18,000 people. It's got mining in its blood. So the mine we intend to set up will be serviced and operated by people who already exist in Broken Hill. The skill sets, the experience that we need already here. The social infrastructure, the housing is already here. The other advantages are its proximity to power. So the mine will be powered by wholesale power, for example, renewable energy. The mine also has an allotment of raw water it's also located next to a railway line and also located next to a main highway. All of those factors which are important for uh, mines in their cost line are here, are prevalent. Another key advantage of our process is that we separate 80% of the waste from the ore at the very first step of processing. So our refinery, where a large majority of our cash costs are consumed, only sees one-fifth of what we mine. So not only are we not using a lot of energy, we're also doing it very economically. The efficiency of the process allows us to produce the intermediate MHP at around $10 US a pound. That puts us in the lowest quartile on a cost basis globally amongst our competitors. The Broken Hill Cobalt Project has a flexible production strategy. So we're going to produce both an intermediate product, an MHP, or a final battery ready product, the cobalt sulphate. Different specifications for different end markets. We now have 30 partners uh, involved in the battery industry or in various segments thereof who want to take our sample cobalt. They represent the vast majority of all battery makers who are intending to supply EV, electric vehicle batteries, or energy storage system batteries, utility scale um, uh, batteries. We often talk about the Broken Hill Cobalt Project in very simple high level terms. It's large scale. It's a top 10 global mine. It will be, when production, a top five mine out of Africa. So it's a viable alternative to those consumers who are concerned about ethical sourcing. It's a long dated mine. We're looking to produce 20 plus years at the equivalent of about 17,000 tonne of this final battery ready product. For the local community, that's a generation of employment. And that's a very strong promise. The global focus on the project is simply outstanding. The investment in Cobalt Blue provides investors substantial leverage to cobalt, this enabling metal for the future.